is terrifying. So this is where I'll be spending the next 50 hours on this small boat all by myself in the middle of nowhere and I'm already so seasick. Next, it was time for my friends to officially leave. Bye, Matt. We're gonna miss you. Have a nice boating trip. I have no idea what I'm doing, no idea how to man a boat. This is extremely dangerous. At this point, I realized how dangerous the ocean is, but I wanted to see what items I have to survive. I have this paddle to eventually maybe paddle me back to land, which I don't think is gonna happen. Ooh, what do we got here? Wires, Florida saltwater fish guide. Bull sharks, tiger sharks, and hammerhead sharks. There could literally be anything down there in that water below me. Giant squids. I already swam with sharks to get here. It is so freaking eerie out here and hot. If I can set this up above me somehow, I'll be able to have a lot more shade. It's so rocky. It's gonna be impossible to set this up out here by myself. I've managed to set most of this tarp up. It's still not the most shade, but it's way better than before. So it'll definitely help. I'm gonna be using the salt water to cool myself off. It is so freaking hot out here. While I was feeling super sick, the team had a different problem. So he's out there in the middle of nowhere and we're on land. So what are we gonna eat? I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting the lobster tail. It's getting really laid out. It looks like there might be a storm coming in. I hope it doesn't rain on me all night. All I have is this light and that small light right there. This is not gonna be a fun night. Once the sun finally set, it was time for my first night lost at sea. There's no way I'm gonna sleep good tonight, but I'll see you in the morning. I'm so freaking hot. I slept horrible. My neck hurts like crazy. <laughs> it is so miserable out here. This is the greatest day ever. I feel like I'm getting delusional out here. Every now and then, there's a little piece of seaweed that floats by. Those are basically my only friends that I have. I've been keeping count. I think I've either seen 27 of them or the same one 27 times. <laughs> Last night sucked really bad and it's starting to get dark again. So I need to figure out a way to get inside of this roof. <clears throat> and after 20 minutes, I'm not able to get into the door. I'm getting really seasick. I think I'm gonna try to go to sleep early tonight. I'm not gonna give up. I'm using too much energy. I'm gonna try again tomorrow. So me and Lifey are gonna try to get some sleep. I never thought I'd be friends with a life vest. Even though we've been having a ton of fun, I'm really starting to miss Matt. Yeah, it's kind of weird not having him here with us. I was having a ton of fun at first, but now it's just not as fun without him. So I decided I'm gonna be trying to break into the cabin with this paper clip and this knife. Hopefully this goes well. Come on, do something. Please, I wanna get in here. Oh my gosh, I'm in! What's in here? It's a bed! There's been a bedroom in here this entire time. It's actually way hotter in here though. Oh, it's kind of making me seasick looking out there. Oh, I, I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna throw up. Going into that room made me so sick. I don't think I'm going back in there. Stupid seaweed, number 28. It's so hard not to just be seasick the entire time. The waves just go up and down and up and down. I've officially been on this miserable boat for 49 hours, meaning I only have one hour left and the waves are starting to get crazy again, but my rescue boat should be on the way by now. We're coming, buddy! This is pretty crazy, the waves are huge. I hope he's okay. It's starting to get really bad out here again. One, I've officially spent 50 hours lost at sea. Now it's time for my friends to come and save me. There they are, guys! Guys! Oh my God, we found him! I see him, I see him, I'm gonna read the boat! Come on, guys! Come on, Matthew, get on! Come on! Whoa! 